brothers and sisters today is another bright new day that the lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study his word and uh in today's bible study um we're going to answer this very confusing question and uh, that most people always ask who was Cain's wife Cain remember Cain and Abel from the book of Genesis so who was Cain's wife was it his sister or something <laughs> all right hope you're seated on a comfortable seat hope you've got a pen a notebook and uh, and your bible and let's get started all right let's get started So, the Bible does not specifically say who Cain's wife was, and the only possible answer was that Cain's wife was his sister or niece or great niece <laughs> and all that. The the Bible does not say how old Cain was when he killed Abel. Let's let's read the uh, the whole uh, a drama of how Cain killed Abel. Genesis 4:8 And Cain talked with Abel his brother and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him So they are arguing about you know uh, one person sacrifice was accepted the other one was not accepted by God and and there was a talking there and the argument I believe and after that Cain killed his brother And since uh, the two were both farmers they were likely both full grown adults and uh, possibly with families of their own Adam and Eve surely had uh, given birth to more children than just Cain and Abel by the time Abel was killed they definitely had many more children later because uh, the bible tells us in Genesis 5 verse 4 and the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years and they begat sons and daughters daughters are you seeing daughters are there so the fact that Cain was scared for his own life after he killed Abel indicates that there were likely many other children and perhaps even grandchildren of Adam and Eve living at that time think about this Genesis 4 verse 14 Behold thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth and shall come to pass that everyone that finds me shall slay me this is a Cain trying to talk to God and try to tell him that please do something people are going to kill me so it means there are other people in the world already who of course uh, were from Adam and uh Cain's wife was a daughter or a granddaughter of Adam and Eve because the bible tells us in Genesis 4:17 and Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch and built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch all right so Since Adam and Eve were the first and of course the only human beings their children would have no other choice than to intermarry and God did not forbid uh, interfamily marriage until much later when there were enough people to make intermarriage unnecessary Think about uh, the book of Leviticus from uh, chapter 18 verse 6 It tells us it gives us an, an account of why it's not good to marry relatives now at this time because of uh, of course I'm going to explain to you why the bible says none of you shall, shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness i am the lord the nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shall thou not uncover she is thy mother thou shall not uncover her nakedness the nakedness of thy father's wife shall not thy uh, thou uncover it is thy father's nakedness and the nakedness of thy sister 
the daughter of thy father or daughter of thy mother whether she be born at home or be born abroad even their nakedness shall thy not thou not uncover the nakedness of thy son's daughter or thy daughter's daughter even their nakedness shall not uh, thou not uncover for theirs is thy own nakedness the nakedness of thy father's wife daughter begotten of thy father thy sister thou shall not uncover thou shall not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister and on and on and on okay mother sister uh, who else brother um daughter in law uh, brother's wife who else uh, woman and her daughter the whole story is here wife uh, a wife to her sister you know all that is explained in the bible why you should not do that and uh, the main reason that incest today often results in in trouble is because <laughs> there is uh, a lot of a lot of uh, pollution right now okay a lot of pollution i'm not talking about the earth being polluted no i'm talking about the genetic abnormalities that uh, when two people of similar genetics a brother and a sister for example have children together there's always a high risk of their recessive characteristics becoming dominant and when people from different families have children it's likely that both parents will carry the same recessive traits and the human genetic code has become increasingly polluted over the centuries as genetic defects are multiplied and amplified and passed down from generation to generation and Adam and Eve did not have any genetic defects and that enabled them and the first few generations of their descendants to have far greater quality of health than we do now Adam and Eve's children had few if any genetic defects as a result it was safe for them to intermarry at that time You see all these things of God trying to tell people don't do this don't do that people think it's just a set of rules that God doesn't want people to live their lives but it's not like that God wants the best for all of us and uh him telling people not to intermarry with in cousins and sisters and brothers is so that you can have a healthy life it's not for he's not like God is just mean with people no he's not mean right now our bodies are corrupted with so many things so you just have to listen to god and believe the gospel and follow what he has to tell you because the wisdom of god is greater than the wisdom of uh, of people okay and uh that's the end of our today's bible study lesson hope it was a blessing to you i hope um to see you in the next one <laughs>